Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm taking a look at a new utility plugin called WP CodeBox. You can always add code snippets to your themes, functions, PHP file, or create a custom plugin. But recently, plugins to manage code snippets have become popular. I used the free Code Snippets plugin for years, but in this review, I'm looking at the WP CodeBox plugin. I was recently given a copy to try and wanted to share a walkthrough and evaluation of it. This is a new plugin that has some advanced features not found elsewhere. WP CodeBox is a premium only offering. Here we are on the WP CodeBox website. There's documentation, and if you need support, there's an email form for support, and the plugin also has a Facebook page. If we look at the pricing, we can see currently all of the packages are lifetime pricing, $29 for one domain, $59 for five, and $119 for unlimited, and they include lifetime updates and support. The lower package for one domain only includes the option for 20 snippet storage, and this is one of the features of WP CodeBox that we'll be looking at, is it has the option to store your snippets online so you can download them to use on other sites. The other packages have unlimited snippet storage. There is a note that the lifetime plans will be going away at some point, so that's just something to keep in mind. I have here a testing site with WP CodeBox installed, and you can see when you activate the plugin, you get a new admin menu item. Let's take a look at the interface here. There's a button here to create a new folder, a new code snippet, to open the repository, and for settings. Currently, settings is just a place where you enter your API key, and you're going to need that for storing code snippets in the cloud. Let's start. We will add a new folder. I'll call it admin UI. And then here you can edit the name. Here you can delete it. I'm opening it up and I want to create a new snippet. So I'm going to call this one add plugin link to menu. Okay, now we're over onto the snippet editor side. You can add the title. This collapses the sidebar pane to give you more room in the editor. You can add a description. Now, WP CodeBox supports PHP, CSS, SCSS, LESS, and JavaScript snippets. And this is the priority. Scripts that use the same hook location, in this case, on page load, they will be run in the order they're queued, or the ones with the lower number will run earlier, and the ones with the higher number will run later. Then you have always on page load or manually. And you do manually if you want to just run the snippet once for some reason. Say you're cleaning something up from the database or adding a new user or something. And then this is where to run it. You can run it on the front end or just in the admin, one or the other, or there's a custom option. When you click on the custom option, then there's a conditions builder. So let's see what kind of conditions it gives us. We can do location, everywhere front and admin, that's like we saw over here. But we can add another condition, like let's say on the front end and current post type equals, and you could put in a custom post type. Like this site has a books custom post type. So we could say current post type is book. And then this script would only run on the front end for the book custom post type. So that's an example of the condition builder. If we look at the location options, there's current post, current post type, current post parent, taxonomy, a custom PHP condition, a certain page URL, current logged in user, time or day of week. So those are the conditions it gives you kind of baked in. Of course, you can always use the built-in WordPress conditions or a PHP function to add your own. Okay, but I don't need this now, so I'm going to discard. All right, so back here, I'm gonna say everywhere. Now I'm going to paste in my script. So here I'm adding to the menu bar a link. I'm actually setting the priority at 999. So let's do that. I'm going to save. 
you notice that even though I had this highlighted when I created the snippet, it didn't put it in the folder. So you have to move it into the folder. And now I'm going to enable it. And let's go take a look and see if it's working. Here it is. Normally you don't have a link to the plugins page. So here it is on the front end. And here's the link on the admin side. And clicking on it, it takes us to the plugins page. So that's all working. And that's how you'd add a code snippet. So this script is a nice convenience that I'd like to add to other sites. So let's upload it to the cloud. Okay. And now we see that I have this plugin available and I can install the WP Codebox plugin on another site and download it or I can delete it from the cloud. So you can see this is probably one of the coolest and most powerful and convenient features of the plugin right here. Just to play around, let's put in a syntax error. Let's add a syntax error to the function. Okay, you see it shows us that there's an error and it tells us what it is. Let's go ahead and save. And you see it's not working. And if we look at it, we see that it triggered an error and the plugin automatically disabled the script so that it doesn't crash your site. So I'm going to remove this. Let's clear the error and I'll save it again. Okay, now there's one thing I wanted to show you. Notice how we're getting code hints for PHP functions and for WordPress functions. So it's a smart editor and it gives you the matching parentheses and matching braces. Okay, and so here are some actions and filters. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that the editor was intelligent. Now let's go look at a couple of other features of the plugin. Notice over here, there's a plus sign that says generate. So let's see what that does. This is cool. It has option for a short code generator custom post type generator or a hook action generator. So these could be useful. I guess they're code templates, which you can find these online. They're fairly common. Let's try one. So we'll generate a short code template. Here is what it outputs. Now I know that short codes do give you the options for params, for parameters and other things. So this is pretty simple, but still it's a nice starting point so that you don't have to go look it up online. So that is the generate feature. Over here, there's a repository feature. So these are code snippets that the plugin author or maybe users have contributed. And you can use these as examples or maybe use them as is. I would look through some of these and they're interesting and there's some value here. Here's one, for example, to disable the theme and plugin editors. So that's a common kind of security thing. Let's see, here are some WooCommerce related snippets. Now I notice there's a category for Elementor, but there aren't any snippets there. So a little surprised by that. If we look at general, these are kind of a random assortment. Some of them might be useful, like remove admin bar for all users except admins. There's a maintenance category to put the site into maintenance mode. So let's take a look at that. That's pretty bare bones. You know, it's not like a plugin that you have for coming soon pages or maintenance mode, but this would do the trick if you needed to work on the site and you didn't want visitors to see what you were doing. Here's an example for adding Google Tag Manager code or the Facebook pixel code. Now, one that I noticed here that I was a little surprised at is this for adding SVG support. And this might do the trick here. And if this was, if you were the only user on the site, then maybe this is all you need. But one of the concerns of uploading SVG images is that they could contain some code. So I think if I were doing this, I might add a check here to make sure that the user has admin privileges. But you know, that would be up to you. 
So anyway, those are some examples of some of the snippets that are in the repository. If you wanted to add a CSS, a CSS less or JavaScript snippet, then I take a quick look at the WP Codebox documentation. So for example, here's a video on adding SCSS code. If you wanted to load an external CSS file, so you're not just pasting in a snippet or JavaScript file, basically you're wrapping it in the normal WP NQ scripts function. There's that. And then one other comment about the SCSS and less is that what that does is when you save the snippet, it compiles the code. So it doesn't compile the code every time you run it, every time it's used, just when you save it. We've completed the walkthrough portion. Now for some discussion and conclusions. And I'll start with a few items that I noticed that could be improved. First, by default, the only WordPress hook for your code is on page load. WordPress provides a number of other hook locations. So it might be nice if there were more options for when to run your snippet. There could also be more options in the conditions builder. For example, I didn't see the option to run the snippet based on the user role. And that might be useful for say membership sites. The repository is an important feature and I really like it. It's so great to give people examples, but I thought that it could be better organized. For example, you know, you had an Elementor category that was empty. And I also thought that there could be some examples in the repository to show you how to add JavaScript or CSS, SCSS or less code snippets, you know, directly using code snippets. There could also be examples to show how to load external files. So you wouldn't need to go to the help docs to see how to do that. And those could be tagged and named that way so that when you looked in the repository, you could quickly see that that's kind of a template or starting point for that kind of feature. None of those possible improvements are bugs or defects. they are more ideas for future enhancements. There were a number of things that I like about WP Codebox. The code editor with the syntax highlighting worked very well. The auto disable snippet on error is really good and will save you a lot of headache if you make a mistake. So that's a very nice feature. As I mentioned, the code repository gives you some nice examples. The template generator has a lot of promise. Right now, it's pretty simple, but there's a lot of promise for that to be expanded and really help you if you're doing some custom programming. And then the cloud snippets, that's really the standout feature of WP Codebox. I haven't seen any other code snippets manager that offers that. I had the option to chat with a developer and he's friendly and open to feedback. And there's a Facebook group where you can interact with the author and other users. Overall, I found that WP Codebox makes it convenient to add code snippets. And if you use the same code snippets on multiple sites, then the cloud feature is a huge boon that you won't find in other plugins. So that's my walkthrough and review of the WP Codebox plugin. There's a text version available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching.